recording this on Father's Day. I'm on my way to the airport right now to go take the RV8 up. I had plans this morning. I was gonna wake up, get a cup of coffee, and then me and my son were gonna go fly. But last night we had the biggest thunderstorm that has come through this year. Just torrential rain, lots of thunder and lightning. Uh, and so Mother Nature had different plans for me. But about 30 minutes ago, it cleared up uh, to the point, it's still overcast, but I think it's like overcast 15,000. So plenty of room to go out and go fly now. So we're gonna go check out uh, a couple new maneuvers that I wanna try and practice. I've never done them before. Uh, my son can't go with me, he's taking a nap and I've got ribs on the grill. Uh, it's a Rectech pellet smoker. So pretty much set it and forget it. I know I'm gonna get a lot of feedback on people saying that it's not real smoking if it's on a pellet grill. But hey, you know what, it tastes good and that's all that matters to me. noticed on uh, my river run video that the pole was adding this like weird uh, effect to the camera so I was thinking that potentially because the pole was aluminum and my airplane is uh, aluminum color that the 360 camera is having a little bit trouble editing the pole out so what I did was I got a can of matte black spray paint and I'm gonna see if it being black really adding that contrast will help the camera there. Uh, I also said before in my installation video that these were four and a half millimeters. It's actually a 3 16th after a little bit further research. I think those kind of equate to the same size, uh, but standard size 3 16th. And then the bolts up here, uh, I said were number 11. It's a, a 7 16th as well, I believe. Got a couple of my buddies over here doing some air tours and some photo stuff. I got a Citabria and a new Waco he just bought. Alright, run up's all good. So let's uh, take her up. Got flaps up. <clears throat> Kick a bit traffic. RV 788 Mike Tango taking off runway 17 departing to the south. Kick boom. Top these rhinos. Engines in the green. The bird. Fly underneath it. Little bumpy.
Tango be traffic, RV788, Mike Tango, departing southwest, check wave. Start climbing it up to a uh, more comfortable altitude. Especially with any new aerobatics, you don't really want to start them below any altitude that you feel like you can't recover the airplane if you put it out of control. Climb it up over here, get at least maybe four or five thousand feet AGL. Kind of a good recovery altitude. And then for these hammerheads, caveat. If you're not super trained in aerobatics, things like that, you want to go out and get actual training, right? Uh, my job, I take airplanes to the edge uh, every day. That sounds like I'm trying to be badass or whatever. No, it's a, it's a T-38 and we're teaching guys how to be fighter pilots and, and try to find the limits of their airplanes. And, and sometimes the only way to find the limit is to get up to it or even put it just past, right? And so every day we're out there figuring out where the limits of the airplanes are. So if you're not comfortable doing that, then don't. Go get some instruction from somebody that knows what they're doing, can teach you properly. That being said, I have spin training. I do unusual attitude training yearly. I've spun this airplane a lot. Coming up on about 4,000 AGL. We'll level off here and accelerate. It's pretty smooth up here. It's a little bumpier down lower. I'm thinking I'm probably gonna start this around the airspeed that I start a loop, so around 160 knots. I'm gonna do about a 3G pull into the vertical, and around 50 knots, I'm gonna put in full rudder. Let the tail whip around and then accelerate downhill and recover at about a 3G pull. This first one, I'm not going to go pure vertical. I'm going to try to keep a little bit of positive G on this. So There's the pull. There's vertical. Yeah, I actually didn't take into account what my starting heading was, but I think I finished uh, pretty far off of what my starting heading was. I imagine the aim is to kind of end up 180 out from where you are. So I got a little more light in my seat than I wanted. I'm going to set myself up straight down this road. So that's about a 1. 7-0 heading, so 3-5-0 when I finish. I'm at airspeed, let's try it again. Airspeed, let's try another one. Let's jump into the vertical. Looking at my wing line, there's about vertical there. Airspeed, opposite aileron. Neutralize the rudder. And recover. This is for you dozen, I call it the Thunderbird number two roll. You gotta look right for the entire portion of the maneuver. You guys back airborne yet? <clears throat> so, Hammer and Mike are taking off. I got them in sight. I'm over Lake Wichita right now. Got the Waco on his takeoff roll. Got the Satabria on his takeoff roll. I already coordinated a rejoin with them. Waco flights off, pushing fingers. Waco's up. Two, three. The tally will be your right three o'clock high. Two, Sally. Inside. We'll make a right turn and we'll fly up the center line of the lake going west.
uh, I got traffic, 11 o'clock. Drink out. Yeah, I'm not looking. Traffic. I don't even know who that is. That's one of our IPs. Gotcha. We got ourselves a four ship. I'll get them to rejoin. Is there a three-step open liquid stop? Hey, firm. Clear to rejoin on the uh, RV. Excellent, it's Astro. Hey, Astro, it's Scooby. Shot, though. And hammer, and boots. It's an extra hundred dollars for aircraft in formation. <laughs> I was gonna say a thousand, but whatever. He's loaded, he can handle it. This is one gangly hodgepodge of a formation. Well, we're all tail draggers, so that's a something. Hey, yeah, good point. Flight, I'm going to add some power and climb a little bit. We're going to go do some lazy eights and a couple of steep turns just to get the barnstormer thrill, up, thrill ride thing going. Scooby. I'll uh, land behind you. Kickapoo traffic, Waco 121, downwind runway 17, Kickapoo. Kickapoo number 6 now, I can follow the two ships. Kickapoo. Kick boot traffic, RV7, and in my tango left close, only one stop, full stop, kick boot. Scooby, you're in sight, back taxiing, and I'll be clear. Got that, got you inside as well. Kick boot traffic, RV7, and in my tango left base, only one stop, full stop, kick boot. I'm got my jet off that left. Bird off that left. Alright guys, thanks for uh, going flying with me today, I uh, hope you enjoyed it, 
I had a lot of fun. Got to learn a maneuver. Got to fly with some friends out there. See ya, Astro. Yeah, see ya. So, I had a good time. Oh, he's got to end with a tail swing. Hey, so thanks for going flying with me today. You get to watch me go out and uh, teach myself kind of a new maneuver based on some techniques that I learned from uh, some instructors. Uh, I had a great time. I feel like as it uh, progressed, I got a little bit better. I'm going to have to practice those a little bit more, though. Then we got to rejoin with uh, some buddies out there and uh, film for his uh, new venture of giving air tours. So I felt like that flight was just plain awesome. See ya.